Hey guys, how's it going? Luke Top Secret here, and welcome to my review for Far Cry Primal. Now, this is a game that was released a couple of weeks ago, and I have to say, this is one of my favorite games of the year so far. And uh, let's get straight into this review. So, as you may already know, this is set in the Stone Age, which means it's not your typical Far Cry game. Since all the other previous Far Cry games have had guns in it, this is definitely a step into the right direction because nowadays it's all about Call of Duty and all those first person shooters with guns and I think we just need a break from all that and just remember how far we've came as a species of ourselves being the predators and we are now the top of the food chain which we weren't in the 10,000 BC I'm pretty sure it is in Far Cry Primal so it was just a good wake up call just to see how far us as species has gotten into this world and how much we have evolved over time. So being set in the primal age there aren't a lot of weapons which we can use in this game to help us out. There are only three different types of weapons. There's the bow and there are three different types of the bows. There's the double bow which is my favourite, the long bow and then there's just the standard bow which we get at the start. We also have clubs and there's the um, the only one club which is upgradable I think eight, no probably four times. And then we have the double handed club which is a really awesome weapon to use against the tougher enemies. And then we have the spears which we can upgrade um, and sharpen them uh, as an upgrade. And those are pretty cool but they are the only weapons we get to use. And then there's just traps like the beehive, which is sort of a grenade at the time. Then we have bones, which we throw, which is sort of, which is pretty much the uh, throwing knives from what we see in the previous games. Saying that, I reckon this is a pretty educational game since it teaches us all about ever human evolution and how we started out as the weakest, or well, maybe not the weakest, but we were not the top as we are now. So it's just good to see us humans trying to live off of what we had at our disposal and just what we could scavenge. Nowadays we just take whatever we want and give nothing back really. But back in these days it's all about looking out for each other and realizing that there are bigger things out there that will kill you in just a couple of swipes. And nowadays it's just about shooting them probably once or twice in the head and then they're gone for. Being a Far Cry game, this game obviously has an awesome open world to explore with a ton of side missions which you can complete to unlock certain upgrades from certain characters that you might have to help out as a side mission. Then you have your classic uh, campaign mission which you have to complete, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys, but I recommend doing some of the side missions before heading out into the actual campaign because you need to get the double bow to help out. The double bow will help out a lot in the actual campaign missions, I'm just gonna say that. And uh, yeah. To add up for the lack of weapons in this game, you are able to tame animals because you are the beast master. You can tame animals like mammoths, bears, tigers, and you can tame an owl, which is the first animal that you tame which is basically your binoculars in the game because you need a way to have a look at a camp before you just randomly invade it and the arrow itself is also really OP because it can attack enemies itself and once you start to upgrade it a bit it can drop beehives on enemies and a gas which will cause enemies to turn on each other which is really useful when taking out a really high ranked camp so I highly recommend you upgrade your owl to get that. Speaking of enemies, the main enemies in this game are, of course, are the humans, which have their own classes, I guess you can call it. We have the usual ones that are the easiest to kill, that will just run at you with clubs and spears. Then we have the archers that will hang back and shoot at you while you take out the weaker enemies. Then we have the slightly harder ones to kill that wear the armor which in this primal age are made out of bone and they got the slightly harder ones to kill so upgrading weapons will make that a lot easier to do and then we have the animals like the bears and mammoth and pretty much every animal in this game will attack you saying all that there are some negative things to this game which I like to point out 
for example, you know the takedown animation that you do that you can take down enemy from behind? Yeah, that feels exactly the same to other Far Cry games. So I wish they could just change that animation and feel to it because it feels exactly the same to others. And it's this game is pretty much just a reskin from the other Far Cry games. It, it feels and looks almost the same. It's just the fact that we don't have guns in it that changes the whole aspect of this game. So it's really just a reskin, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means I need to put a little bit more effort into making a new game instead of just reskinning everything to others. Another thing worth pointing out is the fact that it doesn't have any multiplayer, which is something that we haven't been seeing a lot in open world games lately. Like, there was no multiplayer in The Witcher 3 or Fallout 4, which both of those games really deserve to have a really awesome multiplayer because playing those games I just want to play them with someone else and just explore this awesome world with. So if they had multiplayer I can uh, just see myself playing this with some friends I have and we'll just have a great time taking out a mammoth together which will be awesome. Uh, I just really want to see some multiplayer put into my games from now on because a lot of multiplayer, sorry a lot of open world games just don't seem to have them which is pretty disappointing. But yeah, that's it really. This game is really awesome. I highly recommend it. It's just those little things like the way a thing plays out and feels which just hold this game back. But yeah, this game is highly recommended. I give this game a 9 out of 10. It's really awesome. The best game of the year so far in my opinion. And uh, yes. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in another video, peace.